Hello, well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to you 4 I'm Revelio Scalebin. Today, we continue on with our Carthage game, where revolution is imminent. For the king! At least we hope. Oh, we defeated the rebels. Just barely, but we defeated the rebels. This is why I really don't want to have to deal with revolts. Revolts are actually really hard to deal with in this era. And... yeah. Oh, military leader died. Now we get a new one of those, fairly simple. Now that's what I see. Actually, we're not going to because I want to get rid of the uh, military leader policy in a couple of years. Alright. Still 91 years out from the next technology. We started pretty far ahead of time, so it's no surprise. Rome should probably go up to tech 6 eventually. Alright. Oh, Djibouti is in Ethiopia, tells me in the stream. No, no, they are not. There's Kush, Blemez, Axum. You are incorrect. Alright, so, right now we're still working to bring Galicia under us. I think I'd still like to make them my vassal, because it's a lot easier to deal with them as vassals than as, you know, this annexation right now. Alright, so, Gades is converted. Bibus is next. Yeah, okay, that's good. I don't want there to be just random white spots all over the place. I'm trying to do this methodically. Uh, I should have autonomy on high revolt risk provinces. That would be a thing if I had revolt risk right now. But I've taken the time to pretty much already do that. As you can tell. Gee, I wonder where I put uh, autonomy up and surrendered to, you know, various other vassals. Like, everywhere else is still like 16% autonomy or more. I mean, pretty much. On the other hand, you know, a lot of these provinces are actually getting pretty stable, thanks to recent uprising. Navarran separatists. It appears a new state is going to come along the border here. Everyone, meet Navarra. They're, they're new to the neighborhood. They're just going to be moving in a year or so. A gift to the state. Well, we don't really need money. Give us prestige. Prestige is nice. Uh, culture convert. Yeah, I want to, but at the same time I kind of want... I feel like Iberian and Celtiberian are big enough cultures that I should be able to easily make them accepted. I mean, Iberian's at 17.6%, Celtiberian's at 14%. I feel like with a little work, I could just make them, you know, accepted. Do -do -do. Now, how did that do for it? How much of this am I going to have to do? 19%. How does that do? Is that enough? 20.9%, yes. Good. See, Iberian is now an accepted culture. And by the time I'm done coring all this crap, I'm sure Celt Iberian will be too. There's no secret there. Really? I'm actually almost out of Celt Iberian provinces to core. That's concerning. Hmm. Apparently my stream keeps freezing. That's extremely concerning. Extremely concerning. Oh well, I'll work on that in a minute. So, it's now 87, which means it's high time we got rid of some policies. Yeah. 
October 87. And September. Okay, October. Let's get rid of these policies. We don't need two military policies active. In fact, I don't even think we need that policy. Right now, we do have... Apparently, we did need that policy. There's a lot of provinces are now at 1.5% revolt risk. No, we'll see about it. I still need to find another 0.5 revolt risk, which I should get at the end of the year. I'm hoping. Just, uh, you know. Uh, that should all be 1%. Good. So I'm just going to hope that for two years I can keep the revolt suppressed while separatism declines. I feel like that's the easy way to do it. Yeah. Convert that. We need to try and convert uh, as much as we can to Asherism. Alright. Yeah, apparently Twitch is dropping my stream, guys. I apologize if it continues to drop. Uh, then you're just going to have to refresh it, apparently. Twitch is being an asshole. I can't control it. Uh, I'm still streaming perfectly fine to Twitch. OBS tells me everything is good. Truce with Galia has ended. That means we can go to war with Galicia again, of course. Uh huh. Okay, no, okay. We'll move in there. Yeah. I'm hoping that we can beat the Galicians down. Uh, election. Due to the very slim amount of revolt risk we have throughout the entire freaking empire right now. You know, as little as 1 to 2% in most cases. Well, it's 1% if we, uh, National Norse minus 1 here, which I think is very important. We're not going to be invading Galicia anytime soon without our war general, that's for sure, or war god, that's for sure, but that's okay. It's okay. Like I said, if we can hold out for just a couple of years, uh, the separatism will be dragged low enough, it'll be okay. 594 manpower. I guess that's a nice thing to have. Mm hmm. 0.5 now. Yeah, I didn't. Like I said, I think we could revoke the stability policy and get away with it. And it looks like I might have just been barely right. Alright, his bliss is next. So, a little bit surely, we're also improving religious unity, which helps. That helps a lot. 0.4%. Yeah. Good. Alright. We're holding here. We just need to hold them back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Has Western Roman Empire converted to Hellenicism again? It has. <laughs> Ping pong. Also, everyone, say hello to everyone's new favorite country, Nevera. I'm going to immediately start fabricating a claim on them. Alright. So, yet another Roman breakaway state. This one is a barbarian tribe, like many others. Excellent. Good. Unfortunately, Galicia is still in the protection of Gaul. We're working on that. Surely there's got to be, like, a revolt around here for some nation to form, right? I don't know. We might just attack Rome again. We don't really see a reason not to. Them and Byzantium have had their schism and really don't care about each other that much anymore. And now Sardinia is independent. Oh, 
Hostile latitude. Mili military power minus 28. Wow. Wow. Um, in that case... Yeah, no, I'm just gonna have to get a claim on you. Unfortunately, they're probably barbarians, aren't they? Yeah. <sighs> barbarians are tough to beat, especially if they're in an island like that. We'll figure it out, though. Also, at some point, I want to go to war with Byzantium to recapture the Sicilian island. There's a lot of work to do still. Alright. So if Asconia is still happy to be under us, Navarro will soon be happy to be under us. And if we're lucky and I can get it working, someday Galicia will be happy to be under us. But Gaul is pretty resilient, so we'll see. Good, we've converted Hispalus. Also, I believe right now we have no revolt risk anymore. Yeah, good. Just gonna... Gonna let that slide. We don't want uh, that coming back, so I'm letting that go down to zero before I continue conversion. We're converting more and more of our Iberia to Asherism, which is good. The religious policy does pay off. Calagas, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know. <laughs> eh, somewhere. Ah, it's right here. Okay. Which will inevitably give us the dude to sell lots again, but that's okay. Well, Navara, you have no one protecting you. Apparently my vassal has cores on this shit. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, it looks like our surprise attack worked. We might just win here. Good. Thanks for uh, keeping them warm there. No quarter. Excellent. Their army has been destroyed. So, uh, for this, we're actually going to be giving, I think, Vesconia both the provinces. Yeah, we just always attack. Improve our siege ability, since we don't have our uh, crazy Blitzkrieg god right now. And I'm okay with that. I much prefer not having him right now. Because I need literally minus as much revolt risk as possible, as you can see by minus 0.2%. We are sort of on the precipice with it here, and uh, I do try and avoid a demise at the hands of angry rebels. <laughs> the pink blob in the middle of my nation is part of Rome, yes. Uh, I particularly let them have it because there's gold mines here, and I don't want their gold mines yet. Yet, being the keyword. Alright. So. More exhaustion is more or less stable. Good. Alright, we can continue. No problems. Everything is going as planned. Conquer de Kala. Where is that even? Yeah, it wants us to go to war with the Moors. I'm not really interested in going to war with the Moors just yet. Just yet. Rome's threatening our trade. No surprise. So yeah, it looks like the Chalcedonian Plague has overcome Byzantium. They're now just a walking husk of their former selves. Consumed by Christianity. They seek to do nothing else but spread this plague to others. Alright, in the meantime, let's keep working on oppressing what we can over here. I'm trying to break apart a bit of the Druidic faith. Eventually we'll get around to beating up the Chalcedonians, but as long as they don't spread, 
I see no reason to go after them yet. Yet. They're a lot harder to convert, and they're worth the same amount of religious unity either way. Where are you culturally? No, you're Basque, so I definitely don't really want you in the Empire yet. I'm working on trying to get Celtiberian up there. That proves really tricky. Just sort of run around and improve things. Until that number goes above 20%. 17%. I'm going to keep pressing the buttons on Kel Tiberian provinces. And eventually, with any luck, they will become an accepted culture. Now, 18. Really? Proving ever harder to get. Oh well. We'll improve the Celtiberian region a little more in time as we get more points. And hopefully manage to make them into a nice little thing. Okay. So, uh, we're going to see to both of these to Visconia. Since it's Basque. Ah, Visconia, we'll get both of those. Very good, very good. Uh, am I going to go for paganism forever, or are you going to convert to Christianity or Islam? That's up to you guys, actually. Every 100 years, note that we're approaching the 100-year mark now, uh, I will put up a straw poll in the Twitch chat, and you guys will get to decide what religion I shall go. Right now, the only options are will be Chalcedonian and Asherism, but uh, as time goes on, more denominations of Christianity and even Islam will appear. So, we'll get some other things. I mean, I probably should put Druidist on uh, on that list, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Fuck the Druids. Burn them to the ground. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, folks. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Gilvin, signing off.